All right, I've taken the bottom off the machine here and uh, pretty nice to even have uh, st stuff to help the assemblers, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and brown and black. Yeah, so it makes it easy to wire the thing up. And then here's that little circuit board that has the capacitors and the capacitors are one, two, three there. So, and they have a little negative on where the, my, uh, where the negative is, this little dash. So I'm going to take those three capacitors out uh, since I'm here and we'll do that. And uh, yeah, hand laid out PC board, of course. Very nice. All right, I took these caps out to replace them. And oh my goodness, these are really super high quality caps. They're sealed, they're real nice. I measured them, they're spot on, they measure good. So I just put them back in. <laughs> I figured it's good enough for the, the, the little out, they'll probably outlive me. So <laughs> we'll just leave them in there. All right, um, the way that you do the calibration is you adjust these potentiometers for minus five, minus six, minus all the way to minus 12. There's one for each range and you're monitoring the voltage, they said that the voltage divided by the resistance is the current and all the resistors are accurate. So you set the uh, voltage to match the resistors. They, they have a, a system where you measure the resistors first and then you put in uh, the voltage that matches the resistors. But we have a way to measure the current directly, so I think we're okay. But basically, uh, you're trying to get 10 volts on each range. So 10 volts divided by whatever gives you the 10. I have the dial set to 10. If I set the dial to nine, then you get nine volts there. So it's a, it's a resistive divider, okay? But we can just measure accurately the current all by itself. So here we've got 10, I'll change ranges. Uh, 10, uh, that was 100 microamps, 10 microamps, one microamp, 100 nanoamps, uh, 10 nanoamps. I can adjust that one a bit. Let's see which range is that. That is the minus, uh, minus nine range. So I'm gonna put the screwdriver on the minus nine potentiometer and we can adjust it here. Uh, it does take a little time for both sides to settle. All right, let's make sure we're, we have a good zero. That's okay. Let's go ahead and make sure it's right. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll set the potentiometer here a little bit better. So I think you get the idea of what you do for each range, right? So that's pretty darn, that's pretty darn good. So let's go up. Okay, so we've got amps. And then you go to one nanoamp and it fails. Everything below one nanoamp is wrong on this machine. So, uh, yeah, uh, must be one resistor that's gone bad or I don't know. Anyway, I got to dig into it. Um, but it, everything else works like it should and it's just resistors. So uh, I am measuring the t about 10 volts on, on all the ranges that are, that are bad. So it must mean that the resistor is bad. Um, and uh, might mean that we need to open up the open up the magic box and see what's going on. But um, I don't know. Looks encouraging. All right. Uh, I did have to take the front panel off and get into the box. I'll show you some pictures here. Um, there are some wild resistors in the hair. Well, 100,000 mega ohms. Yeah and more. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't look at all of them, but yeah, there's some pretty big fancy resistors in there on standoffs and stuff. So pretty cool stuff. So anyway, I think I've got it calibrated about as good as I can. I, I clean, I opened it up so I could clean all the contacts on the switches there with a Q-tip. So uh, let's see how, let's see how we're doing here. Uh, okay. We'll go through all the ranges here. Uh, 100, 
Uh, let's see here. 10, 1, 100, 10 nanos. Uh, 1 nano. That's as close as I could get the 1 nano. Uh, a few percent out. And then uh, here is the, let's see, this is the, let's just go back. The switches are still a bit flaky. Okay, there's one. There's a hundred. There's ten. There's one. There's point one. There you go. And here's point oh one. That's eh, a bit out. Anyway, that's as low as the machine goes. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the with the state of it as it's aged and stuff. And uh, yeah, we got some we got some pretty good stuff down here. It's very reliable down to 10 nanoamps, and one nanoamp adds seven percent out. Okay, I can live with that. Um, seven percent out here at uh, 100 pico amps. Yeah, and here is 10 pico. Yeah, it's kind of flaky down there. Anyway, pretty cool machine. I like it.